Hola, I'm Darkies and welcome to my studio. On this video, I'll show you how I made this little painting. I start off by covering the canvas with lavender, which is my favorite color. And I do this because I don't want the white to show through. Then I start layering and blending different colors. Here I'm mixing cobalt blue and black. And I'm mixing it with black because I want the darkest part of the sky to be at the top. So I hope that you enjoyed this miniature series. I did it to get you in the habit of creating more often, as I know that sometimes it's hard to get started or to find the time and motivation to create. And if you're not an artist, it's okay. I hope this brightens up your day. Here I'm mixing teal and cobalt blue. So I'm really loving the idea of making a weekly theme. What do you think? For next week, I'm thinking the cheerful abstracts week. You dig it? Be sure to stay till the end of the video for a sneak preview. That painting was the inspiration for the abstracts theme. I feel that staying on a subject longer helps to explore it better. Here I'm using Golden's Thalo Blue again. This is a nice bright blue. I'm using a size 6 acrylic square brush. But don't get bogged down on what type of brush you use. For this little project, any brush will do. As long as it fits in your tiny canvas and as long as you're able to achieve some level of detail. Now I'm adding some more turquoise and blending. I was feeling like the bottom of the sky needed more brightness, so I added more turquoise. Here I'm mixing vermilion and cut yellow to get a bright and vivid orange. Then I add dark values and midtones. I felt that the painting needed some movement, so I added falling leaves, as if they were being blown away by the wind. Here I'm using the fan brush size 5. And now I'm adding lighter values using yellow. I 
I wanted to make it a bit more interesting, so I added grass to the foreground. I thought that the full moon was going to give it a nice touch, so I decided to add it at the last minute. Retouching the sky with phthalo blue. Applying gold paint Doing some highlights on the tree trunk Now it's time to paint the stars. And the final touch, glitter. Here I'm applying the gel medium which I use as glue. My final step is to remove the excess glitter with a clean brush. And here is the finished piece. And before I go, if you're looking to sell your handmade products online, make sure to check out Renee Christine's free class. The affiliate link is in the description. And of course, if you get on my email list, you'll get all sorts of unadvertised goodies not available to the public. And don't forget that it's okay to start ugly.